Hello, hello, welcome. If you are here as part of the blog hop from dirtyfootprintsstudio.com or hayleycarla.com, I welcome you to Being Breath. After you watch this video, please feel free to take some time, look around, explore what Being Breath is all about. If you are a co-journeyer of Being Breath, and you've been there, done that, you know what this site is all about, you might be wondering why I'm making this video. Allow me to fill you in. In case you've missed it, I am honored to be a co-host in 2014 for 21 Secrets Live, alongside Ms. Connie Husvika and Ms. Haley Carla. Throughout January, to June, we are going to be interviewing a series of talented artists, hosting them while they work in their studios. I would love for you to learn more about 21 Secrets and for you to join us on this journey. Simply click on Offerings and then click on 21 Secrets Live 2014. Today's video is part of a blog hop that Connie and Haley and I are doing. We came up with three questions that we know most creatives struggle with. We certainly know that we've struggled with it at some point. Each of us will be answering these questions, offering our perspectives on our own sites, dirtyfootprintstudio.com, hayleycarla.com, and beingbreath.com. In addition to hearing what we have to offer, you also have a chance to win a spot in 21 Secrets Live. Each week, one of us will be giving away a spot. This week, Connie over at DirtyFootprintsStudio.com is giving away a spot. Next week, on December 13th, I will be giving away a spot. And on December 20th, Haley Carla at HaleyCarla.com will be giving away a spot to 21 Secrets Live. This week's question I absolutely love. The question is, when your art takes a wrong turn, what do you do? Allow me to preface this <laughs> with saying that I don't really believe that there is a right and a wrong to art. I believe that art is an expression of experience. I think that regardless of what form you are doing, whether it's art journaling or painting in a huge canvas or even dancing, there can be a disconnect between what you're feeling and how you're expressing it. It doesn't mean it's wrong. There's just that disconnect there that can be observed. Now, this sounds great in theory, and it's a wonderful thought to ponder, but practically, when you get that feeling, when you're in the middle of a painting and you're going along and all of a sudden, oh, it feels horrible. Whatever you've just been doing, it's wrong. It's, it's messed up. You're, you're done. No more. We, <laughs> we've all been there. We have. So practically, what do you do? I want to offer three tips. Number one, change your path. Number two, change your perspective. Or number three, change nothing. Number one, changing your path. This simply means trying something different. When we are in the middle of the creative process, often thoughts take over. We go along a path of should. We think that something should be progressing some way, something should be looking some way. A line should be going this way, a face should be looking this way, a message should be emerging throughout the art. Sometimes all it takes is using a different brush, trying a different color, using a different material, or trying a different technique. Doing so allows us to express whatever is going on in here and whatever is going on in here through a different method. And sometimes that's all it takes to reconnect to make the art right again. <laughs> and you can hear the noise in the background. I'm just going to leave this in here because this is a great um, opportunity to think, okay, what happens when a video goes wrong, when you're doing a video, and your husband happens to be outside blowing leaves and making noise in the background? <laughs> 
I could change my path and try something different, or I could go on to number two. <laughs> number two, change your perspective. Changing your perspective can either happen in here or happen here. You can change your perspective mentally by looking at your art differently. Or you can physically change your perspective. Turn the art around. Look at it a different way. Walk away from it for a little bit so that you come back with fresh eyes. I want to offer an example of this that I find quite appropriate to this. I did a art journal page many, many years ago. And at the time, I felt it was very, very wrong. At the time, I was working on faces, and I wanted the faces to look a certain way. And they just were not happening that way. So I put it away, totally forgot about it, until about a month ago, when I rediscovered this journal. I opened up the page, and I was flabbergasted. <laughs> I loved what I had done. Allow me to show you. This is the journal page that I had done. As you can see, the faces aren't exactly realistic, and that's what I was going for at the time. But the message that I created through this journal page, I am. I am both of these. I am all of this. That to me is profound, and I could really only see that when I stepped back, a long way back, and took a different perspective. I found such beauty in this piece that I had once hated, once thought was wrong, and now I reconnected. Now it feels right. Changing your perspective can be a powerful way of moving through your art. The third option, change nothing. This can be the hardest choice to make when we are in the middle of something and it feels so wrong, it feels so disconnected, it feels so horrible that all we want to do is just paint over it or get rid of it. But it can also be one of the most valuable practices the deeper that you get into your creative exploration. Changing nothing means sitting with those feelings that you have when you feel that something is wrong. Sitting with that gripping in your gut or the tightness in your chest or those thoughts that are coming through that are just saying, this is horrible, I am horrible, this whole thing is pointless. Being aware of those and not trying to change anything. Gently holding them like you might a child who's throwing a temper tantrum and just being there with it. This practice I have found to be one of the most valuable, not only in the studio, but outside of the studio. There are many, many times when there are things that we can't change, when there are thoughts that we are having that we simply can't let go of, or somebody who is behaving in some manner that we really aren't too happy with. In those situations, simply being able to sit with what is and find an easefulness with what is going on can be such a valuable practice to our way of being. So, your three options, changing your path, changing your perspective, or changing nothing. I encourage you, before you make one of these decisions in the middle of your creative practice, to pause for a moment, to find your breath, drop in. Move into that space beyond words, beyond thoughts, and allow your innate wisdom to guide you to the next step. I hope that you have found some value in my perspective on the question, when your art takes a wrong turn, what do you do? I invite you please go check out Haley's answer over at HaleyCarla.com and Connie's answer over at DirtyFootprintStudio.com and add your own wisdom. Leave a comment below. Let me know, what do you do when you get in that grip of feeling that something is wrong? 
when you're in that creative process and suddenly it, the train derails, what do you do? Thank you so much for joining us on this vlog hop. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. I hope that you have an easeful and breath-filled day. Namaste. Mm -hmm.